Now, your KSBW weather forecast with Chief Meteorologist Lee Solomon. Good evening, everybody. A little cooler today, but still very, very hot. It's it's definitely weird to say it was a lot cooler when it was 96, 97 up in Scotts Valley and Ben Lomond. Most of the cooling was down along the coast, but even inland it was 5 to 10 degrees cooler instead of 110 or 112 or 106 or 108. Uh, we were down to 102 in Gilroy, 97 in Morgan Hill. But the cumulative effect of this really, uh, you know, four-day heat wave so far is taking its toll. And power outages, of course, 95 in Aroma. So when you get that kind of heat and then it doesn't cool off at night and then your AC doesn't work or the fans aren't on because of the heat and the power outages, it really, it really starts to hurt. 97 in King City, 91 here in Salinas. And uh, there are the 70s and 80s along the peninsula. So we did a uh, cool down. We had a little bit more of a sea breeze today. And then, of course, we had the lightning over the weekend. And now we have a bunch of fires going. In, in fact, they're pretty much encased the Monterey Bay right now. These are high clouds. This is still part of that subtropical moisture coming up. We may see more of that in the coming days as a big hurricane off of Mexico, and that may play into our forecast. This right here is smoke from up in Mount Hamilton. So there's a number of fires there too. And you can really kind of track the fire activity with the lightning uh, strike. So as the lightning moved north, the fires uh, got started to the north. And there's been a lot of lightning today. Most of it was off of our coast, which was really good news for us because we didn't need any more of that. But up on the north coast and then up towards Ukiah, uh, up towards Redding, there's a lot of lightning going now. Of course, it is bone dry up there and scorching hot. So there will probably be more fire starts. You can see the plume of moisture uh, still coming into California, but waning a little bit for now. There's a big ridge, high pressure here, and that's our problem. Every time this gets close enough, it brings the heat with it. And then when you have that subtropical moisture coming up, it rounds uh, the outside of that and comes up the coast here. So we see that occasionally in August and in September. Uh, but we haven't seen a lightning event like that in a really long time. Mid-90s in Sacramento right now, still 107 in Fresno, 105 Bakersfield. So very little relief, certainly, for the interior parts of the state. And tomorrow, the numbers come back up again, 112, 110, 109, 116 Palm Springs, with 80s and 90s along parts of the coast here, with uh, obviously triple digits close by as well. So we have some high clouds. We may also form a little fog tonight. we got a little bit of a marine layer trying. I don't think it's going to uh, do a whole lot, but at least we'll have something maybe in the morning and some cooling uh, along the coast tomorrow afternoon with a sea breeze. The other major problem, of course, is the smoke. We have fires over in Santa Cruz. We have fires up at Mount Hamilton. And, of course, we have the river fire. The bulk of the smoke is probably going to be Santa Cruz and down in the Salinas Valley because our winds coming in from the ocean should save most of Salinas and the Monterey Peninsula from the worst of the smoke. You can see how it's getting blown inland over the next 24 hours. Uh, but unfortunately, you see this hot spot continue to develop in terms of smoke concentration down near King City. That's where the worst of the air quality is tonight and probably during the day tomorrow. But I would just caution everybody to probably relax on the exercise for a little while with the heat and the smoke. That could really uh, get to you. Heat alerts through 9 p.m. this evening at the coast. Those heat advisories will be dropped tomorrow but your excessive heat warning, as we talked about last Friday, these will stay in effect through Wednesday. So the interior parts of our area will remain between about 90, 95, and 105 for a couple more days. 65 to 72, we've got smoke tonight. We've got a patchy bay fog. Then we've got mostly sunny day tomorrow. I have it as an impact day because of the smoke, not so much because of the heat. Mid-70s to middle 80s, we will have a sea breeze in the afternoon. Now, the valleys and hills will have a combination of smoke and high heat, mid-90s to triple digits tomorrow. So, again, take it easy out there. Uh, certainly a severe weather day for us. 80 in San Francisco, 96 San Jose, 102 in Los Gatos. The Santa Cruz Mountains are pushing near 100 tomorrow afternoon. Hopefully the power gets back on. Mid-80s down in Santa Cruz. We've got 80s, 90s, triple digits through Morgan Hill, Gilroy, 98 Hollister, 101 San Juan Batista. Salinas Valley, middle 80s, middle 90s. And then we're into the 100-plus degree range from King City southward along the coast, of course, a little cooler with mid-70s to around 80, 96 in Carmel Valley. Your KSBW 8-day forecast uh, shows the heat waning finally. Mid-60s to mid-70s along the coast, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Hopefully they get the fires handled. We get rid of the smoke. Look at the valley cooling. We go back from triple digits to 70s and 80s and just some low 90s by Thursday. So some relief is coming, but it's still about two days away.